Welcome to Sugar MDs. Today we are going to talk about medications. Know your medicine series. All right. Now we are going to talk about Lantus. So what is Lantus? So Lantus is a long-acting insulin. What does a long-acting insulin mean? It is an insulin that you take. It goes under your skin, and it is slowly released in a certain amount of time. You may be taking Novolin. In this case, you're looking for 10 to 12 hours of action time for the insulin. If you are taking Traceba, that may be 42 hours. Now, just because an insulin lasts longer doesn't mean that it works better, but definitely there are differences in these different brands of insulin. If you have financial difficulty or insurance coverage problems, you may want to go for something that is like Novolin or Himalin. However, you may have to do twice in certain occasions for certain reasons, such as less hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugars. However, these are also can be manageable in, in different ways. If your doctor gives you 24 units of insulin, that means that you are getting one unit of insulin per hour in your body. Why? Because Lantus is released in 24 hours. That one unit of insulin per hour is pretty average. A lot of people make certain mistakes with Lantus. What are they? For example, they will not take their Lantus just because their blood sugars are good. Now I understand that because sometimes they are given too much insulin to a point where when they take the insulin, their blood sugar bottoms out. For example, if their blood sugar is 100 before they go to bed, and if they take the Lantus, they are worried that they may wake up with 50 blood sugars. Your blood sugars will go down too much. So the purpose of the basal insulin, of any basal insulin, is to maintain your blood sugars. Why do we have to maintain your blood sugars? Because your body constantly makes blood sugars. When I say your body, I'm talking about your liver. So that is a process that is designed to keep your blood sugar stable, especially during prolonged fasting periods. Now, patients with diabetes are insulin resistant or insulin deficient. So as a result, your liver will think that it will have to make too much blood sugar. So to compensate or to remedy that problem, we give basal insulin in order to reduce the glucose output from your liver. So that is the purpose of the Lantus. Another common mistake people think of is just because their blood sugars are spiking after meals or their blood sugar keeps going up during the day, they feel like they need to increase the Lantus. Now why is that a mistake? The problem is Lantus is a slow-acting insulin. On the other hand, your blood sugars spike so fast after meals there's no way Lantus can help with that. It can in the next 8 or 10 hours, however that will be too late. Your blood sugar will spike let's say 200, 250 or 300 and if you do not eat anything for the next 10 hours, yes Lantus will bring that down. Now, the problem with that approach is if you did not eat that much, let's say next day you were not into eating or you were upset or you were too busy about a certain project then you will take the same amount of insulin and you didn't eat and you are looking for a severe low blood sugar because you are using or actually in in some ways abusing Lantus in order to keep your blood sugar under control so what is the solution for this? the solution is easy you can use incretin hormones that are certain medications that are designed to mimic the action of these gastrointestinal hormones that lead to insulin production when you eat. And if that's not appropriate or that's not possible, you can use a mealtime insulin which is very fast acting. And that fast acting insulin will allow to prevent the blood sugar spikes when you eat. And the Lantus will help you control passing blood sugars by controlling the blood sugar output from your liver. Okay, so the third mistake. Patients who take Lantus gain weight and 
they stop taking latus because they think that they gain weight. That applies to other basal insulins as well. If you are gaining too much weight from any basal insulin, again, that means that you are taking too much insulin. Some people think that the basal insulins do not work. And the reason sometimes is they are not taking enough insulin. So, the insulin can be taken anywhere from 5 units all the way to 500 units. I have had patients even taking more than that. Now the problem is, as a unique individual like yourself, you need to have a specifically designed regimen just for you, to make it for you. So just because somebody is taking 20 units or somebody else is taking 80 units, you don't have to take the same amount. You are not, you are not a machine and we are not mechanics either. So we have to make sure that we understand, your doctor understand, your body and give you the best possible dose. And most of the time, just one dose will not do the job. So you will have to adjust by having your doctor see your numbers, providing blood sugars to your doctor so they can adjust your insulin to the best possible dose. So again, this is a pen. So you're gonna take the cap off the pen and you're going to uh, remove this, uh, this uh, sealant and you're gonna put that on top of your pen, screw that on and take the first cap. Uh, you can inject on your tie right here or in your abdomen, uh, sparing your umbilicus area and you can do it at the back of your buttocks and at the back of the arm. So having said that, we are going to consider that as your abdomen and then you will have another cap. Now before you do that, if you didn't clean your skin, you can second cap off. So priming means that you are taking the air out of the pen needle. There's a little tiny drop coming out. That means that you are primed now. And then you can go ahead and dial up to the insulin that you are prescribed. Let's say in this case it's 16 units. You dial that up and now you are ready to inject. And then you go directly to the skin, especially for a 4 millimeter needle, just like this, very small. You can directly go into the skin and then push the plunger and then you can remove the needle and put that needle back into a safe container with a lid. In very high doses, sometimes your physician may advise you to take twice a day, but typically this pen is used only once a day. If you have any problems with the medication's side effect, the cost, the dosing information, please call us at sugarmds.com. We'll find a way to help you out.